Hello everyone, this is Jarena here, follower of the way. I want to take a few minutes to talk about the topic of, you know, the whole scripture. We've heard about that scripture about do not judge and of course the hypocrisy that follows with that. So now I know everyone has heard about Kiki Palmer and her boyfriend and how Kiki was dancing at a concert with Usher and how she was dressed provocatively and, you know, all of that business and how what her um, boy how her boyfriend responded to that. Now we all understand that the way Kiki Palmer was dressed was too much. We understand that as a woman, as a woman, just being a woman, all right, that 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 was not the best look for her because what what it does is it it basically exploits her. It ex she exploited her own body, and and I'm talking about this in in relation to the Word of God. Okay, the standards of of our Lord, how he has designed woman. He's designed us to be shame faced, to be, you know, uh, modest and things like that, because he, the Lord's design is for women to be protected. So we don't want to exploit ourselves. We don't want to be um, displayed as this, this uh, object of sexual pleasures only. Okay. That, that's not what we want to do. Now, Understand that Kiki Palmer is a grown woman. She can do whatever she wants to do. Okay. It, it, and that, that is absolutely correct. My point is, is scripture. My point is that we were created in the image of God. We're image bearers. So for that standard, this is why this is unacceptable. But this is what I want to talk about, though. The way her boyfriend responded to it. Now, while his response, he has some, some facts in his response. But I want us to zone in on the hypocrisy. Okay. And what I want us to do is I want us to see how a lot of times people are accusing believers, those are, that are Christians, they accuse us of being judgmental when we simply point out error, when we simply say, oh no, that, that, that goes against scripture. Then somebody says, you're judging, you, you shouldn't judge. But guess what? We have an opportunity now to see that scripture in Matthew chapter seven, we can see a vivid display of that and what it means to the do not judge and the hypocrisy that follows. Kiki Palmer's boyfriend, Darius, he did an excellent job <laughs> on displaying that right there, okay? Because he sat up here and made a judgment and you can see all the hypocrisy that follows with that, okay? And we wanna avoid doing stuff like this. So let's look at the video. So remind us of what we are talking about. And I am going to share my screen. All right, so let's see. All right, now to Kiki Palmer, who is clapping back at her boyfriend, Darius Jackson, following comments that has everyone fired up. He had a lot to say about the outfit Kiki wore to Usher's Las Vegas residency show this week. In response to this video on Twitter of Usher serenading Kiki, Darius called out the mother of his child saying, quote, it's the outfit, though. You a mom. Yeah, but there's more. Darius doubled down on his comments, later tweeting, we live in a generation where a man of the family doesn't want the wife and mother to his kids to showcase booty cheeks to please others. And Okay, you see this? Now, look at what he said here. This is her boyfriend. Now, this is the boyfriend that uh, slept with her before making her his, his wife, all right? Impregnated her before making her his wife. He makes this statement. We live in a generation where a man of the family doesn't want the wife. First off, she's not his wife and mother to his kids. Okay. She's, she's a mother's kids to showcase booty cheeks, to please others. And he gets told how much of a hater he is. So of course they're coming after him for making this statement, but we see the hypocrisy here because he's already disrespected her by taking, taking from her when he has not even made her his do you see that? See, that's what I'm saying. That this was yet hip hypocritical. So he's making a judgment here. Like we just talked about that, that scripture. And we're going to go over that scripture. But he made a judgment, right? But he himself is guilty in, in this same matter. Okay? So let's, let's look at what else he says here. And he gets told how much of a hater he is, adding, this is my family and my representation. I have standards and morals to what I believe. I rest my case. Now okay, so he has standards and morals. Did you hear that? Let me, let me uh, stop sharing for a minute here again. So this dude said he has standards and morals. He has standards and morals, but yet 
you humbled this woman by taking taking from her and she is not yours. According to, now listen, I'm talking about according to scripture, the standards of scripture. She's not, she's, she doesn't belong to him. And actually, seeing as how she's not his wife, then, you know, technically she doesn't have to listen to anything that he's saying. She, she he's somebody that she slept with and had a baby by and that she has a relationship with, but not one of a covenant committed uh, marriage of which the Lord has designed. You see that? So that's the part I want to point out with this, the hypocrisy that we see here. Now, he knows about morals at certain times, but he, he didn't consider morals prior to sleeping with her. But now we got morals. See, this is what the Lord talks about in Matthew chapter seven. So let's look at that real quick. Let's let's look at that passage. All right. I'm going to share my screen again. So here we are. Matthew chapter seven, starting with verse one. Judge not that you be not judged for with the judgment you pronounce, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you seek the speck that is in your brother's eye, but do not notice the log that is in your own eye? Or how can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when there is a log in your own eye? You hypocrite. First, take the log out of your own eye, and then you will see clearly to take the speck out of your brother's eye. So you see this? Now, this is what I'm talking about here. This, that is what that scripture means. You see that? So, so for future reference, when there's a believer pointing out error in anything, and they're pointing to scripture, right? Now, and, and they're simply saying what the Lord says. That's the standard. Their self is not the standard, all right? They're talking about the word of God. That's all they're doing. That's it. Now, if there's somebody that is talking about the word of God, and yet them, they themselves are in error about the very thing that they're talking about, This right, that scripture that we just read, that's what that's about. But simply pointing out error, that's, that, that has nothing to do with being judgmental or being hypocritical, okay? But like I said, Darius, Kiki's uh, boyfriend, he displayed all of that, okay? Because he wants to point out the lack of morals with Kiki Palmer, but he himself has lack of morals, you know? And, and even in that same area of, of an issue, that's the thing. Within that same neighborhood of sin, you see what I mean? He has an issue himself. Sometimes, here's the thing, people want to jump on the um, pointing out error because of a personal issue that they have. Now, I don't know if Darius was upset because Kiki was dancing with uh, Usher in that way. And, you know, that he could have been jealous about that. And so then he want to take a shot with the morals. But, but he himself has issues with morals in that area. So that's my whole point. So he doesn't have a, a, a what do what do they say a leg to stand on or a seat to sit in? Okay, he doesn't have really the right to be saying anything about that. I mean, he can say whatever he wants to say, but as as re, in regards to morals and this is my my this and this is my that type thing, he doesn't he he really doesn't have uh, a a right to do that per se. All right, so just want to take out a minute to look at what. The whole do not judge is really about that passage and uh, and the hypocrisy, like I said, that follows. And I think that Darius provided us with a great example of that and so that we can avoid. All right. So let's let's avoid doing stuff like that. All right. Let's let's not do that. Let's be sure that when we're pointing something out, we're not guilty of it ourselves for number one. Right. Uh, and also our motives for pointing out things. Is it a personal issue? Is it something that personally that's going on? Or are you simply pointing to scripture? Is scripture the standard or are you the standard? See, that's another thing. That's another issue with hypocrisy. When you make yourself the standard, you're not the standard. The word of God is. All right, guys. Okay. Just want to talk about that. So I'm sure you've already heard about this story and all that. So think about that. Let's avoid being hypocritical. And you know what? Everybody has been hypocritical at some point. All right. We, we just have what we want to do as believers. We want to seek the face of God to avoid that. And when we find ourselves in that, we want to repent and ask the Lord to help us. Just that simple. and Acknowledge it. OK. And the way to avoid that, like I said, keep the word of God, the standard. 
all right? He's the standard. And while you pointing out something about somebody else, be sure that you're not, your hands ain't dirty on the same thing, okay? All right, guys. All right, well, this was great. This was great. And I, I hope that uh, you guys get, get the point of all of what I'm saying. So if you liked anything in this video, I ask that you like the video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to leave a comment and say this and this and that, great. I would love to dialogue with you and all that good stuff. Okay, guys. All right. So you know what I always say? Continue to do this right here. We got to do this. Continue in him, in Christ alone. Just Christ alone. That's it. God bless.